Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Today we're breaking down Iran versus Uzbekistan, uh, Husseini versus Jasonov. I haven't really been following Taekwondo too much, uh, but I have seen Uzbekistan come up repeatedly in uh, victories. Besides that, uh, updates about myself is I'm still working the same job. I got a kid who's older now, a wife who's very pregnant, and I also have COVID currently. Uh, the worst of it was yesterday. I had a fever. Today, I'm feeling a lot better. Just really, really raspy. Occasional headaches. Uh, they took my parents were nice enough to watch my daughter up until I get COVID clear, and then uh, we'll be seeing her on Saturday. But anyway, enough about me. Let's get into it. So, oh, by the way, those of you guys who don't know or haven't been watching. I think I, I believe in this tournament they're using the two uh, they're using the round superiority so whether you win by one point or by 30 points in the first round you only get you like win the round and then the first per first person to win two rounds wins the whole thing um, I think that's pretty pretty good in terms of elevate or leveling the playing field a little bit sometimes someone has a secret weapon and they used to score nine points on you in the first round and then you're kind of like well crap how am I gonna fix this so we do actually see an example for this here. I did watch this once before, and then I was surprised at the outcome. So I said, well, let's cover this fight, and I'll try and break down as much as I can out of both fighters. Offense by Husini here. Oh, nice follow-up. That is... This guy came out... I don't know how old this guy is, but this guy came out swinging. This is great, great follow-up here. Husini uh, initiates... Boom, cover. Um, exchange in the clinch. And a flip right to the face. And I don't know if I want to go back here and I almost want to say one of the rules I had learned in. Uh, what's it called? And what I was still fighting was when you're in a clinch, you don't back up. That's just. That's just the rule. Boom. For the most part, you close it up because I think. In the scenario they're talking about, you get hit on the way out. But this one, Husini, or uh, Uzbekistan saw Husini backpedaling, figured this guy's off balance. His defense not going to be so good when he does recover balance and then hit him in the face. So good job to this dude. Also interesting to see, uh, it looks, I don't know if Husini has gotten weaker or if Uzbekistan's strength and conditioning is good, but usually Husini gets to bully people in the clinch. And that doesn't look like the case anymore. It looks like he's standing toe to toe. Watch any punching to the face, maybe? Was the warning by the ref? Make sure. I like this Uzbekistan player. He's keeping it, keeping the pressure on. Left leg is crazy. Good job covering that. Thing? Okay. Fast forward. Nice. Oh, accurate with its front leg. And nice try here. I have a theory on the kind of strategy that Uzbekistan is using, but I don't want to say it yet because I want to see if I'm wrong or if it's correct. And I don't want to explain it if I am wrong because then I have wasted your guys' time. <laughs> Holy cow. This guy's foot. So the overall strategy I'm watching is... Uh, from Uzbekistan. I don't know how much taller he is or if he is taller by much because, I mean, he's bouncing right now, so he's obviously taller. But And if there was a higher quality video I could show you guys, I would definitely do that. But what I'm seeing is a lot of poking from the outside from Uzbekistan, and he doesn't really even need to follow up that much because his front leg is so accurate that it's getting through the blocking defenses of Iran here. So 
he's free to just poke from the outside and then hang back and poke from the outside and hang back and he's using different um, targets so it's not just straight to the body cut every single time it's body and then sometimes that one was to the, um, the I wouldn't say open side to the, the chest part of the hogu versus the flank and then he mixes it in with some head kicks too and it seems like part of the game plan is to poke from the outside and when Husini commits to something that's when you sit on a defense to the face that's my th working theory of what the overall game plan of Uzbekistan is right now. Outside, non-committal. Outside, non-committal. Being here doing a good job of taking distance because the strategy against someone who is doing this is you take away where they can move back from and then they have to fight you. I share here going for a deep attack. So, uh, as I was explaining, I think one of the Part of this is he's getting encroached on. The other part is that he's been doing shallow attacks. So stuff just to the flank here. This next combination, he goes deep, expecting that Hussein is expecting him to stay there. So that was a not, that was either, that kind of filled, killed two birds with one stone. He, he disrupted Hussein encroaching, him, encroaching, encroaching on him and he also stopped. Uh, he also went deep because in the last couple of engages, he'd be, he said the pattern that he's going to do one kick and then hang back and one kick and hang back. So who's in his mind, he's hoping that it's trained enough that after you see one kick, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to hang back. But this time you want one and then one for a follow-up. Didn't connect, but a good idea here. I kind of like this double kick because this is something, or a bullet or double, because this is something that I used to do. So I kind of, I like it. Not because it's scored, but because I used to do it. So it looks like he's chasing, chasing, chaining it up a bit now, going for more deep head cacks. Nice job, Hose. Holy cow. Um, nice job by Husini here to eat, kill the distance. This last couple one, he went deep also. That's kind of a, to explain that further, it's almost like a rock, paper, scissors game where he thinks you're going to go rock. So in this one, because he went long on the last one, he's probably going to go short this one, but he doesn't, he, he tries to go long. So that's that's why um, like he thinks Husini thinks he's gonna go short again, so he's gonna go long. It's like he thinks she thinks. So it's it's almost getting to how deep are you into that game? How does he know that I know that he knows? So nice try there. Um, it may have also he may have also opted to do this because he's I'd say kind of relatively near the edge, but I'd say a little bit more so because the last couple of attacks have been shallow into something deep. And then the last one was deep, so he might think he might think that Husini thinks that he's resetting the game. This was actually a good attempt. Husini able to dodge it. This is and is able to get the headshot, but um, Uzbekistan still gets the body. I wonder if he's fighting on the outside because he doesn't feel like he can match Husini toe to toe in. Oh my gosh, this would just send me up a wall. I think he's fighting this way because he doesn't feel like he can match Husini in a little like brawl in the mid space. So if he if they're too if he's a little bit taller, poke makes sense. Keep yourself safe. Uh, but if they're here in the, I think this is where Husini probably excels is where you're exchanging one for one almost. So you could find more avenues for attack. They said let's make sure you don't do that. Just keep using your length. This one Husini said it's a great trap for a back kick. Um, and I mean, because he, he knows it's coming. There's, 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 he hasn't shown a back like this whole time. So he knows it's coming, sets up the back kick, scores anyways, which is adds further punishment to Hussein even knowing what the counter was. <laughs> and, and then he hit him with a back kick. <laughs> so, I don't know if this was intentional, but that was hilarious. <laughs> He sets up the he sets up the correct trap. One of the correct traps is a back kick, and then he knows you see this coming with his front leg. He's like, "Let me show you how this is done." <laughs> so that for those years who were who were trying to start this new game, I thought that was hilarious. The old back kicks not really working as much anymore. You want to you want to look for the short, short back kick. If I were you against the heavy bag, I would practice standing right up against that heavy bag and just 
sw spinning and hitting your foot on there. Not you don't worry about correct distance, don't worry about correct any of that. Pretend you're spinning in place and the bag is right behind you, and that's how I'd practice the back kick. Um, if you have a partner, that's even better. I would say have your partner kick um, kick at you and try and close the distance, and you should be able to still hit that back kick while he's closing the distance. For those of you guys who have the benefit of having a partner. If you don't have benefit of having a partner, then uh, you got to do it as a heavy bag. But that's how I practice the back kick for the new game because that's what's connecting. I'm pretty sure that's also how the other Uzbekistan guy uh, won against one in the old. Points, extra points, extra points. I don't think he's that much taller. Maybe his leg length. They found someone with like hum giant legs. Oh, that was close. That was a nice try here. Good try. Good try. It's good job staying on one foot too. Skinny capitalizing on being on the edge. I don't know the rules anymore, apparently. Um, maybe because he pushed and didn't kick at the same time. I don't know. This round's pretty done. I actually forgot this was a thing when um, the round resetting, when this was a thing. So I saw this and I was like, I don't know how Hussein is going to catch up. This is this is pretty detrimental. And then we got back here and went back to zero, 0 I was like, oh, they're using round superiority. So anyway, round two. Offense here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. no score though. So that's kind of unfortunate. So I think because they have a round to spare now, essentially what the round to spare, I'm saying they can, they can, um, uh, they can lose this one and still be okay. Cause they got one more round to, to give up. Going a little bit more offensive, a little more committed. Such a good front left leg. It didn't connect, but Husini's connects. Good job. Both sides here. three away because of holding I think they're really strict about the holding now before during back in my day uh, that would have been given to them I don't know what, uh, maybe there's a ruling for that now punch oh I think this this guy from Uzbekistan who won the Olympics went back and told everyone this is how I do my spins you should spin like this and everyone said okay and that's what we're seeing here is just a bunch of guys who are good at spinning now. Uncanny front leg. You don't need to train a rear leg off the line anymore. You just need to have an accurate front leg and can spin. That's all your problem solved and that's how to fight Taekwondo now. The accuracy though on this leg, what I'm kind of surprised by is the amount, I don't know if the pressures have been lowered, but I'm surprised that he's able to score off of kicks like that I mean unless you've seen is really not blocking um with KP and KP and PI I always had a hard time doing that like I I don't know what kind of power these guys are packing on their front leg but it looks easier to score now than it was before so maybe that's a thing if someone can comment and let me know then that'd be great oh oh you see me doing the matrix losing a point but Better than going down by six. I think Husini at this point is kind of stumped. Like, what do you do against this guy? Um, personally, well, Husini likes to fight left leg in front. Against this kind of guy, uh, personally, I would fight open stance. I would switch to open stance because I don't like the idea of him having the open target to my uh, to my chest. I like I want to close that side off. I might try and use my front hand a little bit more to disrupt his front leg. And I would personally, because I rely on punch a lot, I would try and go for some punch, maybe some back leg to the body. Uh, but the option, the other threat to that though, because this guy is, this guy's game is the way it is. If he were to do that and catch me properly, then um, I'd be running into a back kick. So, I don't know, I guess this not having, I guess not having a back leg 
out. If you attack his flank, though, something you could do maybe is attack his flank, and then just make sure you that they're like while in open stance. If you're kicking to his flank, then he and you're occupying his front leg space. So your front, I guess your front leg would be have to be superior. You could fight him that way, but your front leg would have to be superior to this other guy's front leg. That's the only way I could really see this shaking down. But Husini likes to fight left leg in front. I don't know how he is with his right leg in front game. I don't know if his right leg is injured. Uh, we'll see. I would something for sure though is I would not continue fighting this guy in close stance. Like there's, it's almost like uh, when people say, like don't don't fear your opponent. You should just, but like respect what they can do. This is like a, you need to respect that front leg and work around it. Unless your front leg is better, but it's clearly not better. It's his his front leg is way more accurate and way more dexterous than than your than you've seen it. I try to manipulate the clinch. Maybe there's new holding rules. If someone could let me know on the new holding rules, um that'd be great cuz I haven't sparred in like 3 years and it looks like these guys are really really cautious about holding versus when I was there they didn't really care if you were grabbing or not and they said have at it. It looks like looks like they're pretty uh, up there on holding rules again. Recovery is good. Nice try. Okay. No one's paying attention to the ref here. Blah, blah. Okay, we're back. So, so overall, same strategy. It looks like to apply more pressure, Uzbekistan is overall just um, committing a little bit more to the attack, knowing who's going to slide back once or twice. Besides that, there seems to be almost no change. Um, Husini also seems kind of stumped right now. So, no, I don't see any big variable changes that's going on. It's not switch legs. His approach seems the same. I think maybe that's what the new approach is, is you got to slide in multiple times and then try and exchange. This guy's front leg is pretty strong. Yeah, that's okay. That's why he's not committing to that. Um, so, yeah. So I guess you're trying to, they're trying to get this guy to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe, um, so they can di have a little battle at, like, the really... Uh, not clinch distance, but like not the medium, but like the in between brawl distance. They want to have a brawl. Like Hussein's trying to lure him into a brawl there. This guy's not having it. He's saying, "Look, you're either gonna fight me at long range, where I'm clearly beating you, or we're gonna clinch. Or in this case, if he tries to commit to that again, he spins and scores on him." That's. He hit him again with something else. Plus two. And they tried for... Okay, no, he tried for the head kick. That's what it was. Okay, okay. He has 42 seconds to make this happen. Three points. Oh my gosh. How do you, I'm trying to think of why this is getting through. I mean, maybe it's like because the foot's vertical and you have a hard time. I'm trying to imagine why this is so hard to cover. Unless it's just something that Hussein has never encountered before. Like, uh, I wonder if, like, in this one specifically, he kicks under the leg and it goes up. So maybe it's hitting this bottom section of the hogu down here that no one really... Because I, I don't think... I mean, I, I highly doubt he's throwing that... Um, he's looking where he's throwing that. I, I highly doubt he's looking going, oh, that's where I'm going to place the back kick. This is kind of just spur of the moment, like, I'm throwing a back kick now. And... I think he has two. I think he has that one with the tight spin, and he has this one that comes up underneath. Um, I guess you just have to practice against a partner that would do that, and I don't know 
if anyone does that. Like, besides Uzbekistan, obviously, because him and the guy who won the Olympics both do that. So, holy cow. Nice try. So this is, I like, back to like a little bit more basic idea. If you're really ahead, something really good to go for is the guy's head because they're really ahead and they're on short time. They have 33 seconds to try and make up 13 points. They're for sure going to be coming in or at least thinking about offense. This, um, this head shot here is something really good. Oh, he's trying to be a little bit fancy now. Huh. Okay. Wow, old school here. Is that roll? Well, let's see. Let's see. One. Where does he score this? Or that on the? I'm trying to see if he scored it on the cut. I think it was on that initial lift. Um, and then you try with the double. That's that's not bad. I would, if I were Husini though, with this amount of time, I would not back up right here. I wouldn't reset. I would just kind of keep hammering it and watch for that left front leg. Um, that's just me though. I'm also not. I haven't played it like. Yeah, I guess I haven't haven't played the game at this level. So maybe he's calculating things better than I am. Holy cow. Uh, to get past that front leg, he just slides forward, gets a head kick, and then the body shot. This guy's about to give up the, the match right here. No, no, for holding. Okay, okay. I can see the fairness. No, oh, he didn't give a gum job. So you didn't need to throw him back that far. Usually a reset would show up somewhere here. I mean, there's no nest. There's no reason for that to go back that far. No, you don't need to go back that far. That's really unfortunate. The ref shoved him so far back. Um, Oh, that was pretty good. Body goes to the face. That was a uh, good job to this Uzbekistan player. I'm pretty sure there's, there's nothing that. Yeah, so good job to this Uzbekistan player. Uh, playing to his strengths, played on the outside, played long game, really, really accurate front left foot, had a great spin on the on the back leg. Uh, Husini kind of caught up after he was finally able to lure this guy or find a way past that front leg without I think if Husini had played that way maybe a little bit sooner obviously he would have uh, gone better if he was uh, if he, he went kind of for those slightly faster blitzes and getting him into that uh, one for one game so good job of this guy to avoid that and I guess takeaways from this are work on covering for those back kicks that are probably becoming uh, other people are looking for those um, points, and uh, that means they're going to be trying to copy that. So for you guys who are watching this, start you don't want to like you want to have that in your repertoire and start building the defense to when other people start building that weapon. Um, till then, guys, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.